Hello everyone, this is uh, Carl Shufflet from Infragistics, and in this short video, I want to talk to you about the WPF XAM Data Grid Control Configurator uh, grouping and sorting features. All right, so let's uh, hop right in this. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and um, fire up the uh, Control Configurator for the XAM Data Grid. And what we want to do is we want to we want to look at uh, two things: grouping and sorting and filtering. Well, not filtering, grouping and sorting. So let's, why, why don't we go ahead and just do sorting first? So the, the default theme has some light objects. See, once I click this, there is a little plus, but it's very hard to see in the video. So I'm on the Zam data grid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and just type theme, like TH for theme, and I'm going to change this to like uh, Metro. And then you can see, by the way, I uh, it's pretty cool that you can do this, right? I mean, you, you can go and see all the different uh, themes that are available uh, for you. It's, and you can see it right in the configurator. But let's run back to Metro. So now we can see that we're sorting ascending here by ID, right? And right, I'm going to go ahead and click Apply and then Control-K, Control-D. And, of course, we can see our theme is set here. And if we uh, wander down here into the order layout, we've got sorted fields, and it's got uh, sort field. It's a ascending by ID, and group by is false, so we're not grouping by it. All right, so that's pretty cool. You can see it saved you from having to key in all that XAML correctly, right? All right. Now, let's say that we wanted to um, clear this. How do we do that? instead of going out to the XAML and deleting it, right? So what we can do is we can run over to the, or we can run out to the layout where that's, where this is happening. And I want you to know is it's got a grouping and sorting um, a group here, right? I can click this and it removes it. So this is like a, a little tool we gave you so you can get rid of it. So if I come out here, control K, control D, then you can see that sorting and grouping has been removed, right? So that's pretty neat. Okay, so we come up here, um, and then let's go ahead and let's look at grouping. So let's say that we wanted to group these or uh, orders by the date. Well, one thing you can do is we can take date, and we can drop it into this group by area. So we click it, and so now our orders, so we have this real nice grouping here, and you can see that they're grouped, and then you can... Um, and they're sorted this way, by the way, too. So if I click Apply, Control-K, Control-D, now we run down here, and we can see here we got Field Sort Description. It's a direction descending by date ordered, and it is grouped by equals true. So that's pretty neat that you could actually use the UI of the XAM data grid itself. And by the way, this is what your users are doing, too, right? So I'm going to, um, your users, I'm going to click order layout. I'm going to clear that up. So your users are going to be able to use this if you're enabling it, right? If you're allowing group by. See, if you don't allow group by, if I come over here and I say false, then we shouldn't be able to use this. So we got the group by area. Um, so this doesn't allow it. But in the group by area location, you say none, right? And then they can't, then you can't do anything. So that's kind of cool, right? All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this back so it's above the data area, and we're going to say we're going to allow that to occur. Now, the other um, uh, menu option that's here is a label click action. So these are called labels for the fields, right? And I'm going to go ahead and just close this uh, little area up. I think you just click it, right? If you just click it and unclick it and click it again, it'll open and close. So we got label clicks action. So we got default, select field, sort by multiple fields, sort by multiple fields, just try state, one field only. So you have all different kind of things, uh, different things that you can do with the label click action. So go ahead and read your docs on this, figure out what works for your scenario. But I've shown you how you can do uh, sorting, grouping, um, using the UI, and then when you save it, it'll persist these settings for your customers or, or, or for your Zam data grid when you when you save it. So I hope you enjoy the Zam data grid from Infragistics and uh, thank you for watching the video and have a wonderful day.